welcome all today i am going to tell you about the stlc software test life cycle so first of all we will discuss stlc and its phases uh, what is stlc uh, stlc is actually nothing it is a you can say sequence of uh, some activities which should be conducted during the testing process so that we can ensure that uh, we are going to get a good quality software or you can say after software is met with all the good qualities stlc involves both the things like verification and validation both type of activities are there so first step of stlc is requirement analysis second is test planning third is test case development then environment setup then test execution and last is test cycle approval so these are the six you can say phases of a stlc now we'll learn one by one in the detail the first is requirement analysis so now the question is that what is requirement analysis so as name suggests as requirement analysis name suggests that in this in this phase actually testers or you can say test team try to get the requirements from a testing point of view to identify that what is the testing what is the testable requirements qa team interact qa team interact with various stakeholders to understand that what is the actual requirement and to capture the details of the requirement requirements could be in the in in form of you can say either in the functional or non functional in this phase also we uh, test team also try to get the information that there is automation feasibility for the testing project or not so this is also automation feasibility also part of the you can say requirement analysis now we will see what is the activities in requirement phase testing and what is the deliverable in activities we will see that identify types of tests to be performed we try to identify that which type of test we have to perform gathering the details about testing priorities and focus yeah then prepare requirement traceability matrix rtm that uh, i i will create a separate video on that identify test environment details where testing is supposed to be carried out this is very important we have to identify the testing team have to identify that what should be the test environment where we can supposed or where we have to perform the testing automation feasibility if automation is required this is only the case when suppose we test team want or automation is required in the application in test in that case in this test and requirement analysis phase automation feasibility is also checked these are the activities now what is the what are the deliverables in terms of deliverables the main deliverable is rtm requirement feasibility matrix and second is automation feasibility report and what is the automation feasibility report means whatever things we have to test it really that can be tested with the help of automation we can create a for automation that so that is called automation feasibility report now the second is test planning phase in the test planning phase actually the senior qa manager actually try to determine the test plan test plan strategy along with efforts and cost estimates of the project so according to the you can say cost estimates of the process cost estimates of the project he try to find out the effort that is you can say effort and cost that is also part of the test planning moreover the resources the test environment test limitation testing schedules are also determined the test plan get prepared and finalized in the same so the you can say mainly the thing is that we in in, in your, you can see in short in this particular test planning phase we try to create a proper test plan so that we can proceed to the next phase so what activities we have to complete we have to perform in this test planning phase preparation of test plan test strategy documents for various type of testing whatever we are planning for various type of testing we have to prepare a test plan a strategy test tool selection that is again important which tool we are going to use for our testing test effort estimation how much effort how much effort how much resources and how many type of resources like manual 
resources, automation resources. So how much, how many resources we needed for the testing? The resource planning and determining role and responsibility. Resource planning means we have to actually plan that we need this resource and how these resources will play different type of roles and what will be their responsibility. Then if we are performing, if we are performing a testing, so in that case, is there any re training requirement for the resources? So that also we perform as an activity in this test planning phase. So now what is the derivables of the test planning? Test plan, strategy document, that is the main thing. And the second important one is effort estimation document. Effort estimation document in which basically we see that how much effort is needed for the testing. Now the next step is, next phase is test case development phase. The test case development phase actually involves the actual creation, verification, and rework of the test cases, or you can say rework of the test scripts after when the test plan is already ready. So it means when test plan is ready, then in the test case development phase, actual things like creation of test case, verification, rework of test cases, these things takes place. Initially, the test data is identified and then created and reviewed and then reworked based on the figures. So test data is also identified. Then the QA team start the development process of the test case for individual. Then after this, you can say in this particular phase, QA team actually focus on the test case development for the individual units also. Now, what are the activities here in this phase? Create test cases, automation scripts, if applicable. If we are going to create the test cases, that is 100%. But if we are planning for the automation part or so, so in that case, we have to write the, or we can say we have to plan the automation scripts. Also. Then review and baseline test cases and script. Again, the thing is that whenever we have actually developed the, you can say test cases we have developed, it is very mandatory to review them, whether, whether they are right or wrong. Then next activity is create test data. That is important thing. We are going, we have already created the test cases. We have created the automation script and and that the very, very important part of the test case is the test data. We are, every test data, every useful test data is available or not, or we have to prepare for. Now, what are the deliverables of test planning? Test cases script. So this is for both the things like, uh, you can say if you are talking about manual testing or automation, so your test cases and a script should be the uh, final output of this the phase. Test data. Test data is again very important. I told you test cases are just like the scenario steps. You perform the test case of scenario with the help of some test data. So test data is very, very important. Now test environment setup. Now this is also very, very important phase of the, you can say testing STLC. Reason is that test environment setup actually decides that what software, what hardware, what software, what hardware we need, what software and hardware conditions we need and under which a product is tested. So you can say it is very, very critical aspect of the testing purpose. But, but, but the positive thing is that, that this phase can be done in parallel with the test case development because there is no dependency between the test case development phase and test case environment. So if test case development phase is running in the same time, we can perform, we can work on the test environment setup also. Test team, here the also one more thing. Suppose take the example, development team is already providing the test environment. They have already created. So in that case, test team don't need to do any work here. But if, the, if they are not providing the environment, then test team required to do a, you can say, uh, uh, do a readiness check and uh, check so that every environment uh, is uh, ready to use or not. They have to create the environment and also they have to perform a smoke testing of the environment. A smoke testing of the environment means. Okay. Now, what are the activities in this particular phase? Understand the required architecture. That is a very important. You have to understand this. What is the required architecture? What is the required architecture? Then how to set up environment? Environment setup. 
set up in environment is the main thing and prepare hardware and software requirement list for the testing so everything should be there we should have testing team should have a proper you can say list of hardware as a well, software now set up test environment and test data because we have requirement so as a activity now we have to set up the environment and test data and after that when we have set up for surety we have to perform a smoke test on the build whether our environment is ready to ready for testing what will be the deliverable Deliverable, deliverables of the test environment setup will be environment is ready with test data setup environment is ready with test data setup so this is one deliverable second is that smoke test result whether environments was ready and we have also tested we have also tested that environment is ready and we can proceed with so we provide smoke test results now next phase is test test execution phase in test execution phase actually you can say this phase is mainly or you can say carried out by the tester tester actually perform the actual test execution on a software build based on the plans whatever plans we have created whatever plans we have already created in the previous phases whatever test cases we have prepared on the previous phases on the base of that testers actually execute the test cases in this process you can say so many things consist i feel like test uh, consists of test script execution test script maintenance bug reporting if bug are reported then it reverted back to the developer for correction and retesting will be performed so this is also the part of test execution now what are the activities execute test cases execute test cases as per plan one document test result document test result means whatever testing test team is doing on the basis of that what is the result pass fail blocker anything that should be documented and log defects for that and whatever bugs we have find whatever bugs test team had find they have to log wherever in any any log you can say bug tracking tool or any any portal we have to log that is used in the uh, company or for the project for bug log then we have to map defect to the test cases in our team that is very very important thing whatever defect we found after in the test decision phase we have to map those defect in the rtm requirement testability matrix retest the defect fixes then again the thing is that when the bugs are fixed we have to retest it again these are the activity and after that we have to track the defects to close we have to track the defect that till the time it is not closed now what is the deliverables deliverables of the text execution completed rtm with the execution status complete rtm with the execution status whatever test cases you executed what was their state pass fail blocker escape whatever we have to update test cases updated with the result test cases updated with the result that what was the their actual status and last and most important is defect reports what was the defect report? okay and then last you can say phase of your stlc is called test cycle closer as the name suggests that test cycle closer means we are going to close the stlc cycle in test cycle closer phase actually we focus on the completion of test execution which which involves several activities like test completion reporting collection of test completion matrix test results so testing team members actually they they meet they discuss they analyze testing artifact to identify the strategies that have to be implemented in the future because they got this experience that whatever they have done in their test planning and on the basis of that what was the result what was the shortcomings were there so on the basis of that they can actually decide and so many things they can improve in the future they takes the lessons from the current test cycle that what whatever what what things they have done in a proper way what was the positive part of the you can say stlc what things they need to improve in the future so the idea is to remove the process bottlenecks for future test so this test cycle closer actually you can say also give a idea that whenever you are going to perform another stlc another stlc cycle so you can actually improve yourself whatever you have learned from your 
this test cycle. Now, what are the activities here? Evolute cycle completion criteria based on time. That is very important. Evolute cycle completion means how much time it has taken to complete the criteria. Test coverage, cost, software, critical business, objective, quality. So everything you can say, everything that is involved in the, you can say whole STLC that we have to evaluate. That is the activity. Prepare test metrics based on the above parameter. Whatever parameter we have, and on the base of all the parameter, whatever is possible, we can create a proper test matrix. Document the learning out of the project. This is again the thing, whatever we have learned, it doesn't mean that what we have learned, positive, negative, whatever learned, we don't need to uh, left it as it is. No, we have to document it so that in the future, maybe some other persons are going to be involved in the STLC, they will refer this document. So document the learning out of the project. Prepare test closure report. There should be a well-defined closure report that now we are closing this uh, uh, whole this STLC cycle. So there should be a proper report for that. Qualitative and quantitative reports of reporting of the quality of the work product to the person. This is very important. Quality means all the requirements, all the required parameter, all the required information should be available in the report. All the required. That's why it is qualitative. And what do you mean quantitative? all the information that is needed, all the information which is required, or you can say in the sufficient information should be available in the report. That is called quantity. Test result analysis is to find out the defect distribution by the types and severity. So these are the test closure activities. Now the last is deliverables of tests like test cycle closure, test closure report and test matrix. I hope you have understand properly the flow of STLC and also understand that what are the activities and deliverables required. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.